Good morning, I'm Amanda Taylor of a Wacka Glass Studio. Um, thanks for joining me today. Um, I welcome you to the third day of the Southern Highland Craft Guild virtual fair. So um, I hope you're enjoying what you see and all the videos and sh visiting at different studios online instead of uh, in person. But um, yeah, it's been great so far. Um, I'm starting my home since this is where my day starts, but we'll be going out into the studio. That's my plan for today is working in the studio. Um, then I'll show you some of the things that I'm working on and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So enjoy. Yeah, so right now I'm getting some Christmas ornaments ready. Um, I have hundreds of them that we used to do for our, our wholesale um, shows. But anyway, so these are part of the pieces I'm going to be sending to the Torah Arts Council, um, to their store. Um, we'll go, go into here, then there's a whole box of stuff. But um, yeah, so my computer, I'm going to be working on that later. And it's another glorious day here on the mountain in Cattail Creek. So um, I'm looking forward to getting in the studio. It's hard to be inside when it's so gorgeous outside. So, but uh, that's my job. So here we are. That's my studio. And there's the dog sitting there looking at me, wondering what the hell I'm doing. Um, yeah, but that's our beautiful little tiny house and my huge studio. So um, yeah, we'll go inside. Here we are. This is the kiln room. And I've obviously been firing stuff that I'll be showing you in a second. But uh, here's my little workstation. It's just easier to work on stuff in here and then put it in the kiln. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but it's all for the backgrounds of my landscape panels. And obviously, I'm getting ready to do a bunch of them. So, but yeah, so upstairs we go. And this is my the main studio. There's the um, wood cut, wood carved bear that I did for the track um, big ink project that they set up. And you'll see the you'll see the prints from that. Um, there's more Christmas ornaments that I'll be packing up. Uh, here's uh, an area where I'm actually the powder station workstation that you saw a minute ago. These are what I created and they're all fired. I have a whole stack of them. Um, so they'll eventually look like that. So we'll be, yeah. So, and um, I also te been teaching painting and uh, all various other ceramics and metal work to some local kids here. So, um, but yeah, and here's my studio. There's the bear print from that uh, woodblock cut that I did. And uh, yeah, so things are everywhere. There's some of my little tree trunks that I make for the um, panels that I just showed you. And here's some of my product that's on my website um, waiting to be hopefully purchased and sent out. So um, but yeah, it's a glorious day. So I can't wait to get working on my pieces, but I'll, I'll show you a little video clip of, um, actually, here we'll go back, uh, of uh, I'm making some uh, silicone, or these are latex molds um, out of lotuses, but I'll show you um, exactly what I was doing with those for glass. Hi, I'm Amanda Taylor, Oaxaca Glass Studio. Um, today I am actually doing a bunch of things, but um, the first thing I'm doing is uh, painting <clears throat> some rubber latex, some amical rubber latex, <clears throat> onto various organic forms, like this is acorn, a little acorn cap, and this is the second coat that I put on these ones, so and this is a, like a lotus little seed pod, same with this. So I have three different sizes of the lotus seed pods that I'm actually gonna be painting with the silicone or the rubber latex. Um, and this is for uh, some lost wax 
or Lost Gelatin um, casting that I'm going to be doing, glass casting I'm going to be doing. But um, yeah, I love the texture that is on these lotus pods. Um, I also have some poppy poppy seed heads, so I'm going to try that as well. But uh, yeah, it should be interesting. Okay, so I finished um, one of this larger one that's back there, right here. Um, so that, all of these are going to dry for a day, just so they cure. And I'm um, going to continue painting them. Um, probably put quite a few coats on. So, you know, each coat takes a day, obviously, so it's a little bit of a process, but um, yeah, because you want to make sure that the latex is, or silicone, if you have paintable silicone, um, it usually takes a whole day to dry and cure. So, um, before you want to paint the next layer. Um, so now I'm gonna do the last one here that I have. I think I have some poppy seed ones that I'm going to try as well. So, you know, the idea eventually is to make some freeze and fuse molds, <laughs> which should be interesting because it's just difficult to get them out. Um, yeah, but we'll, we'll see. It depends on how easy it is to peel back the um, silicone mold or latex mold from the glass. But like I said, I'll be doing some lost wax casting, which is not a problem. Removing the wax out of the silicone mold because it's hard compared to um, freeze and fuse, where the you know the glass is barely attached uh, with the frozen water. So anyway, but next one is this, and then um, yeah, wait for 24 hours. And thank you for joining me in the studio today. I um, hope you have a great weekend it's uh it's really gorgeous here but uh and happy shopping and check out all the artists fabulous artists that are on the southern holland craft guild website um during this show enjoy